You see, the concept of heat pump elucidated the principle of refrigerator in the related GV1 lecture. This part just left due to some technical problem, no matter. We will explain further in very short terms. Let's see. This is the working substance, and here work is done. Work is done on the working substance. That is different from this concept heat engine. In heat engine, work is done by the working substance, but here work is done on the working substance by taking the amount of heat Q2 from sink at sink at lower temperature T2 Kelvin that is cold air and here source at that is hot reservoir at higher temperature T1 Kelvin this is the total material inside the refrigerator and this is the outside the room atmosphere clear that is the room temperature here T1 Kelvin clear let's see in this heating pump the process are also cyclic and due to the cyclic process due to the cyclic process change in internal energy becomes what zero and the first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics that is dq equal to du plus w and dq here some part of heat transfer to sink and the mostly part of heat transfer heat taking from sink then q2 minus q1 is the remaining amount of it that remains inside the working substance that is what dq equal to q2 minus q1 and du become 0 so 0 plus 0 blue and dw equal to minus 0 blue are minus w no matter why the work done on the system work done on the system that is dw equal to what minus w clear so this minus becomes what this minus q2 and plus q1 that's why q1 minus q2 that is equal to what work done and then coefficient of performance very simple formula here output upon input output that is w input that is q1 efficiency eta is equal to w upon q1 but here input coefficient of performance beta is equal to input that is what q2 that is q2 here and here q2 means what that is the heat taken by the working substance from sink that is what type of input and you have worked on, on the system also concept of input so input upon input that is q2 upon w so q2 will be same as q2 but w is equal to q1 minus q2 just here and then we have to calculate that particular performance efficiency in the terms of T1 and T2 or Q1 and Q2 then ratio must be in the terms of Q2 upon Q1 so dividing the numerator and denominator terms Q2 upon Q1, Q1 minus Q2 upon Q1 then this one remains same in numerator terms but in denominator Q1 upon Q1 becomes 1 and remaining minus Q2 upon Q1 let's see Q2 upon Q1 from this concept Q2 upon Q1 becomes what? T2 upon T1 and further 1 minus T2 upon T1 becomes what? Eta. Clear? 1 minus T2 upon T1 that becomes what? Eta. And this T2 upon T1 becomes what? 1 minus Eta. Clear? The beta is equal to 1 minus Eta. Uh, beta is equal to T2 upon T1, 1 minus T2 upon T1 are uh, simply this formula. And for efficiency, in heat engine, you can use this formula for solving numerical. So that's all for today. Have a nice day.